that kind of brings up an interesting point, which is, you know, you're always, uh, all these places you're going to, you've got this, you know, invariably you've got this outsider's perspective. Yeah. Um, do you feel the need to be a little more sort of empathetic to the people there? Do you do do you, um, do you feel like you, you need to sort of bring their viewpoint to the forefront too? That you need to shine some light on that? I don't really think like that because when you were in uh, like for for Burma, um, I haven't been that feeling when I was in North Korea because when I left, yeah, uh, it's such a strange country because uh, I still have contact with some Burmese people, but in North Korea. It's impossible yeah internet yeah. Or the yeah. mail. It's, it would be even dangerous for them if I tried to contact them. so uh, you, you leave the country and you say it, you're abandoning them to you know to that crazy country yeah. it's a really sad feeling because yeah. after two months you know you have some friendship uh, um, Knowing them, you kind of. Uh, I felt really sorry for them, and uh, I, in the book, uh, I wanted to have that uh, that feeling that you at the beginning, you know, they're a bit annoying because they're following me all the time. Yeah. But after two months, you know, you play pool with them, they, you, you, you have some friendship going on, and uh, so I wanted to have that in the book. And in Burma, I didn't have to go specifically on that because uh, I was, you know, I met Burmese people, and the only thing we see about Burmese people is they're going to die in the field being raped, or they're gonna, we're going to burn their village, yeah. which is true, which happens, and that's yeah. terrible, of, yeah, course. of course. But me, I talk about the stuff I see. So I've, I've met the Burmese people uh, that were graphic artists. Some were doing comic books, some had published comic books. So I thought it was interesting to talk yeah. about that because we have an image of Burma being like super poor and but these guys were working on photoshops on their stuff and we had discussion not you know not on Aung San Sushi but on uh, you know what kind of plugin do you use on yeah. photoshop and stuff like that so uh, I didn't feel uh, it was we were on the same level because we were just two artists they were saying uh, you know I'd like to do more comics but you know I have to make a living doing illustration it was exactly the same discussion <laughs> I had with my friend in France yeah. in Paris except they are much poor but uh, I describe that in the book but not to uh, not so you feel sorry for them or you, yeah. you feel pity on them uh, not at all because they were you know poor yeah. but very uh, not miserable so. it's I mean but that you know that that all comes back to the, 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 the people that you're meeting there based on your own, you know obviously you're not gonna probably be interacting with the people who are living in the fields and, and yeah dying and, that's right yeah but yeah because I don't go there I don't yeah. Yeah. But I was glad to, because my book is it's about Rangoon, it's not so much about Burma, because yeah. I spend 99% of my time there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't meet the people on, on some... You, you cannot go on in this place anyhow, it's, it's completely forbidden, yeah. even yeah. for journalists, so there's no way you can, you can see these things. 